Hey, I'm Vinny. And this is my crib. So hey, Megan Bone Gang, and welcome back to another video. We uh bought a house. Just got everything uh, finally moved all in. Got everything that needed to be painted, painted, which is a chore in and of itself, but. I'm gonna give you guys of a grand tour. We moved down to this little town about nine and a half miles as the crew flies from the previous house. But this house is awesome, about twice the size of my other house. And it is in a location that I uh, pretty much always wanted to live ever since I was a kid. Spent a lot of time down here uh, fishing and crabbing and doing a whole bunch of things like that. So uh, this is <clears throat> quite a dream come true. So let me give you guys a quick <clears throat> Try that again. So let me give you guys a quick tour of the house. So as you can see, there's a nice little dining room, something I didn't have at all in the last house. We got our kitchen area, more cabinet space than I've ever had, and somehow the wife managed to fill most of it up, as you can see, maybe. Nice granite countertops, nothing too special or extravagant, just a Kitchen and a dining room. All right, so from here, we're gonna take a little trip down the hallway. And to our right, we have a bathroom. Nothing too special, it's a bathroom. Shower, closet, sink, mirror, toilet, you know, normal bathroom things. But this is where the house starts to get pretty cool. Look at this bedroom. This is our master bedroom, which was originally two smaller bedrooms. You can see both fans and there's a line kind of right down this ceiling right there that divided the two bedrooms in the original house. And then we got, you know, a little bit of closet space. This is my closet. Not too bad, right? You know, it's pretty decent size. Fit my clothes and a couple hats and stuff. But then as we walk a little further, the wife in the background right there, we go to the wife's closet. Holy crap, look at the size of this thing. This thing's big enough to be another bedroom. It's ridiculous. And she won't even let me put any of my hunting stuff in here. Come on, Tank. That could be your room, buddy. Right across the hallway, we have what is become my wife's craft room. As you can see, she does, uh, she's got the little cricket machine with the vinyl. She does some sublimation. You can see all this fancy drinkware that she can put logos and sayings and little pictures on and everything like that. This used to be what I'm assuming was the master bedroom originally with the original house. And this is pretty much where the original house ended, right here. So you'd have this master bedroom that would have been two smaller bedrooms, the hallway, dining room, and kitchen. But this is where it gets really cool. Look at the size of this living room. I'll put you right here in the corner so you can get a, a good idea of how monstrous this thing is. It goes all the way around. We got this nice little, this will be my bathroom because she won't let me use hers. We got a nice little shower, sink, toilet, you know, more bathroom things. And then over here on the other end, we have the utility room. Check out the size of this thing. We got the washer and dryer right there and all this extra space. So what we're going to do with this is, uh, it's going to be my little office area where I'm going to do most of my editing and all of that stuff. So on this side, we're going to probably put a bed or a futon. So when anybody wants to come Spend the night so we can get up early in the morning and go fishing, frog and whatnot and whatever. I don't have a place to stay. And then in this little closet right here, you know, you got a hot water heater that heats water. Nothing too special. And then my absolute favorite part of the house. Going in towards the back. Check this out. It's a closed-in back patio. Ooh, face got a little dark there. Closed-in back patio. Windows all the way around. We even got some air condition piped in here. Keep it nice and cool in the summertime. Now, granted, as you can see, the whole house is a mess. We still got boxes and stuff everywhere. Uh, we ordered living room furniture that apparently won't be here for another month and a half because everything's backed up still from Corona. But uh, pretty much an outdoor kitchen. Got a sink, stove, refrigerator to keep the beverages. This place really has a camp feel. I love it. This area right here, probably gonna put my uh, snow goose whenever I get it that back. Uh, one I got in Kansas and put some fishing lures right there because this is going to be a backdrop for a lot of the videos a lot of the how to's and whatnot videos come out this little door right here and we have a lovely back porch area 
that we will be enjoying much once the weather starts cooling off again. Got a couple citrus trees right here. And then we got our two sheds. That box truck obviously isn't going to be there forever. We borrowed that to move everything. But before we get to those sheds, one of the coolest things about living down here in a raised house is as big as the house is, that's how much basically covered patio area you have underneath the house. And this, this is going to be awesome for crawfish boils. We can set some tables here, tables here, tables in that next section. We've got plugs, we've got lighting. Pert near everything we need to throw some uh, pretty happening Fado Do's down here. So here we are at our first shed. This is going to be kind of what I call my my coon ass shed. It's going to have all my coon ass activities. Wasps everywhere. They got mud divers, red wasps, some wasps I've never even seen before. But that's okay. They uh, all seem pretty friendly. Haven't gotten stung yet. But let's go inside the shed. Check this out. I'll tell you why I'm going to call it my coon ass activity shed. So I got pretty much everything that was in my, my shed at the old house in here right now because I had to clean out uh, this shed and the other shed. So I cleaned this one out first, just threw everything in here until I can put everything where I want it. But this shed is going to be all right in this area right here i'm gonna try and put most of my fishing stuff i know it's kind of dark in here i gotta get power they had power run to it at one time but uh not no more so i gotta run some power to it everything's still wired up though so that one shouldn't be too difficult but we're gonna keep all our fishing stuff here i'm gonna keep like some of my trapping stuff because this year i will get a trapping license be trapping some raccoons and some other stuff that comes on the property but uh yeah fishing trapping crawfish crabbing all of that stuff we're gonna try and leave in here be able to work on all of that store all of that and then we're gonna to go to the next shed which would be another workshop area I'm gonna go into this barn looking shed and then here this one's gonna be kind of my woodworking slash mechanic slash everything else uh workshop i'm gonna keep my duck hunting stuff up there and got some camping stuff right here and then and once i get this blind material all wrapped up and put away i'll be able to put some materials up there got some spot for my tools and all that good stuff i don't know how much i care about all that but i'm pretty stoked about it it's gonna be sweet oh hey kitty what you doing there buddy got tons of cats roaming around the area hopefully helping keep the mice population down so then right after my sheds we have this big old covering i guess you'd call it i don't know the technical name for it got the boat ride chow got all kind of other stuff that needs to be cleaned up and put away got my crab traps got a spot for the Holby kayak right there. Got another citrus tree that doesn't seem to be doing too well. So then after we come past this uh, covering right here, we have the yard. Now this thing goes back. If I, I measured it out on base map app, it's uh, from the edge of this to those woods right there where it gets pretty thick back there. That's about 75 yards. And then once you get to that, it's about 30 or 40 yards past that to the end of my property line as well as this right here kind of grew up, but this goes about four or five foot more this way. And then you can see right here where the grass is a little bit higher. This is what I like to call my, my sometimes pond. You know, it, uh, I have a pond sometimes when it rains, sometimes when the south wind blows, I have a pond sometimes. So I still haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with this. I might get a bunch of dirt truck back here and build it up a little bit so this doesn't happen or I might leave it because I'm definitely, I'm not gonna build anything back here. I'm gonna leave this an open field because when we get our next puppy, he's gonna be my duck dog and I'm gonna be able to do some training back here. Probably wouldn't hurt to have this water back here, let him run through that and all that good stuff. And then back in those woods right there, we're gonna make a little trail. I'm gonna end up putting my deer feeder back there and some game cameras, see what we got walking through there. So when trapping season comes around, maybe we can get some, some cool things, but all of that you guys will find out man i am excited about this place because it's going to do some awesome things for the channel <sighs> so happy to be here a lot of people have been asking me about my pool pond am i going to be putting it back up over here absolutely we got plenty of space to do it I haven't decided exactly where i'm going to put it i want it to where it gets some sunlight but not a whole lot so there's actually a chance I might put it under the house since we have so much area under here. If I put it somewhere like along this edge of the house right here where it can get, it'll get some sunlight throughout the day. I don't know, I haven't quite figured that out, but uh, I'll let you guys know when I do, you know what I mean? So moving down here, not only fulfill the dream of mine that I've been having for most of my life, uh, 
it's going to open up a whole lot of opportunities and awesome stuff for the channel so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed because there's a lot of cool things to come let me know in the comments also if you want to see updates as we get this place put together but so the wife and i need to run to the hardware store grab a few things got to do some stuff on the house and then this evening when the sun starts sinking low we're gonna go run to that canal do some fishing before the mosquitoes come out and take us away so yeah